I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a video on number patterns for grade 5 students. This video is dedicated to my student Fezu who takes keen interest in learning. So Fezu, till now you had been doing simple patterns like growing patterns, shrinking patterns and most of the time repeating patterns. Now we are going to add some complication and I hope you are going to enjoy it. So let's see the first exercise. You need to write first five terms of each pattern. Now when I say write the first five terms of each pattern, it is for all of you. You can actually pause the video, copy this question and for all these four patterns try to write the first five terms. The very first one is start at 2, add 3 each time. So that is simple. This is what you had been doing so far, right? So how do we write pattern for this? Start at 2. That means the first number has to be 2, right? So that is start at 2. Now it says add 3 each time. So that means on Two, you have to do the operation plus 3 add 3 each time so when you add 3 what do you get 2 plus 3 is 5 right so you get 5 that is simple now each time means every time just keep on adding 3 the same number so again add 3 so you get 5 plus 3 as 8 and then again, when you add 3, what do you get? So that is how you see that the pattern is growing, correct? So this is also a growing pattern. So I hope you can find the next term, correct? So we have to get the first 5 terms. I am leaving the next term for you. You have to just add 3 to get that term. Now this is where it becomes kind of tricky. So we have to try and understand part B. It says start at 3, add 2, increase the number you add by 1 each time. Right. So you can begin with 3, that is simple. So it says start at 3, so we start at 3, then add 2, okay. So let's add 2. 3 plus 2 is 5. Okay, let me use this color. 5. Then what? So it says start at 3. We did it. Add 2. Add it 2. Got 5. Increase the number you add by 1 each time. So it says increase the number you add by 1 each time. Now what does that mean? That means next time you are going to add not 2 but 3. So we have increased the number by 1. So 2 plus 1. Do you get an idea, right? So, so this time we add 3. Next time what are you going to add? 4. And then add 5 to get the next number. Do you get how we are increasing this series? This is also a growing pattern. So what you get here is 5 plus 3 as 8, 8 plus 4 as 12, and 12 plus 5, you can write that here. Perfect. So that is how your series increases. So I hope this step is clear. Start at 3, add 2, right? Increase the number you add by 1 each time. So make your pattern. So plus 1 means 3, add 4, add 5, add 6, and so on perfect here is another one for you to practice start at 2 alternately add 3 then subtract once oh. so it's more complicated right so let's think again we have to again start at 2 so that is easy start at 2 means start at 2 so we have done this part now this word alternately add then subtract that means once you add 3 so we will add 
3 then subtract and then what do you do take away 1 do you see that alternately add 3 then subtract 1 so you keep on adding 3 and keep on taking away 1 do you see the pattern that is what we mean when we say alternately add 3 then subtract 1 right so if I add 3 to 2 I get 5 take away 1 is 4 adding 3 is 7 take away 1 is 6 and what do you do next so figure that out and then write down the next number let this be the exercise for you but I hope by now you have got the idea so we have three very different patterns and they will give you an idea of what you are going to do in grade 5 regarding number patterns perfect take the part D the last question here as your test question you need to start at 5 alternately add 3 then subtract 2 so it's kind of similar perfect okay so pause the video solve and then look into my solution here is how you should be doing it start at 5 means start at 5 alternately add that means you should do like this add 3 so let's say add 3 let's write plus 3 then subtract 2 then we do subtract 2 so make a pattern like we are doing now right so add 3 don't get into getting numbers first get into the trend see how the trend works right so this is the trend now do the math right which is 5 plus 3 you're good at it 5 plus 3 is add 8 right 8 minus 2 6 6 plus 3 9 9 take away 2 is 7 next what should you be doing figure this out and then write the next number so I hope you find this exercise very interesting I would like you to go through these questions once again and then move on to more practice questions correct so still it is not over we are midway right it was just an introduction and it helps you to describe patterns now what am I going to do I am going to test whether you have learned or not right let's move on the question here for you is what is the tenth term of this pattern start at 20 alternately subtract 4 then add 5 this time you have to take away then add 5 hmm and you have to get the tenth term correct so do it this time okay so I hope you are on it here is how we can do it let us see so what I'll do this time is kind of make a pattern like this so here we will start at it says find the tenth term of this pattern start at 20 so the first term is 20 right so this is our term number we'll write number like this and say first term is 20 then what are we going to do alternately subtract 4 that means we have to take away 4 right so we have to do take away 4 then add 5 and then we add 5 right then we add 5 so alternately means keep on doing it like this right subtract 4 and then add 5 correct so let's do few terms you have to find what the tenth term will be right so second term will be 2 take away 4 20 take away 4 which is 16 right now the third will be you have to add 5 you get 21 fourth will be take away 4 from 21 you get 17 fifth term will be you have to add 5 to get 22 right so now figure out a pattern so fill in and find what is going to be the tenth term do you get an idea right so I would like you to 
do this question write down your answer so Fazul don't forget you have to write the answer for this and then I'll check right so I hope you get it so this is how we have done it so far I've only got the first five terms you have to get the rest and explain how you got the tenth term correct so it should not be difficult see after this you could see like this 20 alternately 21 22 kind of like this and here 16 17 kind of like that it can also help you to get the pattern so I hope that makes sense so let's move on and take two more questions to end this video I hope you are enjoying we are already midway two more questions to go and I hope you have understood all the concepts take it as a test from now onwards try to do these questions on your own now here you need to describe the following growing patterns and write next three terms so try to first describe right and then write the next three terms I hope that is clear now these patterns are growing since the numbers are increasing 4 6 8 10 all the numbers are increasing and therefore we call them growing patterns 2 4 7 11 is again a growing pattern correct you learned about shrinking and repeating patterns so we'll take up those patterns sometime later I'll provide you links for them that would be better okay so copy these questions answer and then look into my suggestions so let us see how to describe them let me remind that we started with description right so go through this whatever is written here start at 2 add some number each time start at some number add 2 increase the number and add by 1 each time so that is the kind of description you have to give I hope that is clear right now let's see how to describe them so the very first one is 4 6 8 10 you can always write start at what number well start at 4 so that is easy start at 4 full stop now what should I do now it is growing so I have to add something right 4 to 6 I'm adding 2 so that is how I move from 4 to 6 6 to 8 again add 2 right and 8 to 10 also add 2 that means here we have to add 2 each time so we can write this as add 2 each time once we know this is the trend we can actually write the other terms so we have to just keep on adding by two is it okay so like this so let's add and write down the terms also in patterns this is called the first term second third fourth now fifth term is 10 plus 2 which is 12 12 plus 2 is 14 14 plus 2 is 16 and so on so now I would like you to add three more okay so do that exercise now let's look into the next question this is slightly difficult again it is growing and we know we have to start at 2 so let's write the first statement which is start at 2 now what do we do 2 to 4 means I'm adding 2 right and then 4 to 7 am I adding 2 no this time it is 3 so I add 3 this time one more 2 plus 1 okay now if I have to go to the next number then 7 plus 4 is 11 that means I'm adding by one more each time do you get an idea so next time what should I add next time I should add 5 correct so what is my pattern rule I'll say start at 2 then first time you add 2 right so say add 2 and then what we do after adding 2 then what do we do 
increase the number, we say, we say comma, and then we say increase the number you add by one. Does it make sense? Increase the number you add by one. Do you see that? Then you get the other numbers. So, 11 plus 5 gives you 16. Next time, you have to add 6. And then, you have to add what? A different number. One more, which is 7. Likewise, you have to continue this particular trend. So, I hope you can fill up the numbers and make the growing pattern. Is that clear to you now? Okay, and that will be your test. Hope all goes well. If not, feel free to write comments, right? Okay, move on and all the best. Describe the following pattern, then write next three terms. Okay, the pattern here is not growing. You are decreasing the numbers first and then increasing. Do you see the difference? So it's kind of tricky. So think about it. 10, 5, 11, 6, 12, and so on. How do we describe this pattern? Well, we can always write start at 10 to begin with. Now what? Now, first step is to take away 5 to get 5, right? And then what did we do? We have increased, so we will increase by 5 plus 6 is 11. And now we again took away 5, right? And we increased by 6. 6 plus 6 is 12. So I hope you got the pattern. So this is the case where we are alternately doing two different operations. Correct? So we have to use alternately take away or subtract and then add. So we'll write alternately subtract. How much? 5. And then do what? Then add 6. That is how this pattern is being formed. So once you do that, you can actually get all of the terms. Correct? So from here, we added 6. Now we have to take away 5. And then we have to add 6 to get the next term. Perfect? So let's do it. So when you take away 5 from 12, you get 7. And when you add 6, you get 13, right? So likewise, it grows on. So you have to figure out the other terms and write them down. I hope you have understood the whole process, enjoyed this journey of learning about patterns. Now in the next chapter, we will learn patterns like input-output operations. I hope with that, you will know everything about patterns. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. And if you like and subscribe my videos, that will be great. Thank you and all the best.